Exodus, Exodus, chapter 9, verse 13. And the Lord Yahweh Bashemel Shah said unto Moses, Rise up early in the morning and stand before the Pharaoh and say unto him, Thus say the Lord Power Yahweh Bashemel Shah, the power of the Hebrews, let my people go that they may serve me. For I will at this time send all my plagues upon thy head, hearts, and upon thy servants, and upon thy people, that thou mayest know that there is none like me in the earth. For now will I stretch out my hand, that I may smite thee and thy people with pestilence and thou should be cut off from the earth I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah Ba'ashim Kodash, the Wadi Yah Ba'ashim Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of great millstone deserve double honors rightfully so Shalom to the Aki and pushing the word and sincerity and truth, being faith based and being prepared for what is to come. And what is to come? Race wars, famine, concentration camps, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. 200 million missiles hitting the soils of America. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord lifting up the whole full duck into the chambers. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord shooting laser beams at the ungodly and the heathens, rightfully so. Do the spirit. Yeah, watch him out, shot. Um, I've been trying to, you know, do this video a few times and it just didn't come out right, you know. And you know, you no, know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm real simple with my videos. I go straight to the point, and um, you know, I may, I may talk about a couple of things, but um, um, most important, I try to find, you know, some, some key thing that's being talked about, and I try to um sort of um ride the wave with it you know if a brother's coming out with it or if the mainly if the pastor's speaking of it i try to i try, I try to get my videos out with that too you know and i try to find scriptures that 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 complements those videos or whatever it was talked about and you know at camp before we left camp you know the main camp um the pastors came up with some great news and it was it was it was heart racing you know, because you hear things like that, you, you want to know where you stand with the Lord. You know, you want to know where you stand with the Lord. You know, you know, the the, the pestilence, the you know, all these things that's coming, you know, the, they got the black death out, right? You know, and, you know, they call it the black plague and the black death, you know, the bubonic plague. That's what they call it, the bubonic plague. And that was, and I was looking at something, how it was, um, I saw a video how how they did it and where, where it came from like bugs and all this gurgitating and how you know but no those bugs uh, those animals belong to Yahweh Shemel Shah and they and Yahweh Shemel Shah is the one that does it okay he's the one that puts the um the plagues out he's the one that's going to have you get red they don't know okay oh, oh it must be the truth it's always a yawn every time I speak about some. Some righteous, and you know, like the scripture said, those pestilence, all right, those plagues. Y'all about Shemel Shah ain't playing around with you people, okay? You know, back in those dark ages, you know, the 1300s, when the boom by the plague came out, it was to weaken our nation because we was in charge because Esau couldn't destroy us, you know, he couldn't destroy us by himself. So um, the Lord sent out the bubonic plague to bring us down so Esau can come into power. Because it's all scriptural. Everything is scriptural. You know, it's a lot. Alright. Um, oh, okay. I got it from here. Let's see if I can get some more of this delicious out. Because, um, the Lord is not, he, he's, he is, he's furious with this people, these places. He's upset, and 
All right, I think I had a scripture. Let me see. All right, that was um. For the Lord, he waits, he's waiting, he's patiently waiting, and, and that's what he's doing, you know, it's his, it's his, when he ready, when he ready to do it, you know, that was a scripture, um, okay, I think it was, um, yeah, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. um, yes, I'm sure this is it. Let me see if it's the right words. The Lord is not, um, I thought it was it. Wait, hold on. It's a lot here. I saw it was here. It's a lot. It's not good. Oh man. I thought it was in reflection. Um what's the wrong? Can't remember the word now. Some of the point long suffering, um, slow the anger, long su um, slow the anger, and if it comes to me, if I could just find this, I thought it was a slavia. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Let me read this scripture here anyway. All right, this is um this is Jeremiah chapter twenty eight, verse eight. Um, the prophets that have been before me, and before thee of old, prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms, of wars and of evil and of pestilence. And you know, I I I say this to the every time I do a video, you know. I didn't never had, I never, you know, we, you know, my mom was a, you know, she, her, her father was a reverend, but she, I, I guess to me, I, I've been thinking like, I think my mom was like trying to get away from her grand, her father. And because he probably was putting down the beats on, on, the, um, on, the, um, on the Bible, like just always, you know, always talk about the Bible or probably, you know, the Lord, this the Lord, that I don't think my mom wanted to hear about the Lord, you know, but then, but she know. When we, you know, when she was having boys, I just, this, this came up with theory, you know, it was not true, I don't know, but she probably didn't want to teach us the Bible, you know, because she knew, she knew what, you know, you know, women read a lot, they'll read something, and then when they find out, it's not, it's not, it's not, um, it's not to the, the, the thing, what they wanted to be about, and then they just try to get away from it, they try to get away from it, then they say, oh, everything is not literal, or, you can't take everything to content, whatever. You know, whatever they fucking try to say. But um this that it's like this world. They don't want you to they don't that's why they got that, that slave Bible. They took out certain things. You know? But this is this is probably one of the verses they took out. Pestilence. You know. Or it says it says war, I mean of war and of evil and of pestilence. You know? And and the prophets Always speak about um, uh, um, um, things that's going to happen. That's how you know the Lord, who the Lord is dealing with. Because when you read this verse right here, when you read about this this verse right here, it says about um, and this is the Jeremiah chapter twenty eight. The um, they got the uh, like the commentary, 
It says the prophets as Hosea, Joel, Amos, Isaiah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, and others, all of whom have denounced similar evil right, against a corrupt people. And America is corrupt. Okay? This place is really fucked up. All right? So that they may oppose Jeremiah. Also oppose those who proceed him. Okay? And it was altogether unprecedented for the true prophet to promise deliverance to a guilty nation without calling them to repentance. All right. It, it, you, had, you had to tell these people what they had to do right or to get them to repent. And what happened? They didn't want to repent. So what happened? They got ran down on. At that time, Jeremiah, um, they got the prophet Hananiah, the, the false prophet Hananiah, should I say. Because Hananiah was not the real prophet. And, and we read these verses right here, which I was reading, you know, but I wanted to find, um, um, Maybe it was in here. This is a verse I want to read and I can't find it now. Alright. Um, Alright, let me read on. So like, I'm just thinking about these other verses and it and just like, it won't come to my head. And I had it next time when I, I'm going to write it down. So like, I just didn't write it down. And I thought I could be able to get right to it. Alright, um... In the second uh, verse nine, it said the prophet which prophesied of peace. When the when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet then shall the prophet to be known that he the Lord have truly sent him. And you're gonna know who the Lord sent when all these things start happening. When all hell breaks loose, you're gonna know that the Lord sent the righteous man, the righteous man of Great Millstone. Sorry to tell you, that's, that's right. Because cause the Lord, the Hananiah, the, Jeremiah said Hananiah was going to die that year, and he died that year, okay? So he prophesied death. <laughs> so, fuck you talking about, all right? I'm thinking about this verse, and it just won't come to my head. Oh, man, I, want, I really want to read that verse. I thought it was here. Um... Yeah, the, the Lord ain't playing around. Maybe it isn't here. Oh, it is it. This is, I'm sorry. Um, This is it. This is it. It's right here. All right, I'm going to read this real fast. Because the Lord, it was right there. It was Nahum. And I'm lucky you know how to, man. All right, the Lord, this is the Lord. This is, the Lord. Um, this is Nahum chapter 1, verse 1. We're going to start here at 1. The burden of Nineveh, the book of the vision of Nahum, the the Ilkosite. All right, the Yahweh is jealous, and the Lord Yahweh revenges. The Lord revenges, and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversary. That's what the Lord said, wait upon him. You ain't got to go out there and run down on these people. The Lord going to get them. Because his enemy is our enemy. All right? The Lord will take vengeance on his adversary. And will revenge the wrath for his enemy. And he will revenge the wrath for his enemy. The Lord Yahweh is slow to anger and great in power. And will not at all acquit the wicked. You see? So the Lord, the Lord told the Pharaoh back then. He said, so let my people go. And he's telling the Pharaoh now, which is Donald Trump. <laughs> These Edomites, they're the new Pharaohs. Okay. You know, it's a full circle. Where, uh, mm. Wow. I was looking for this version. It was right there in front of me. That was, that was, you know, I, you know, it, the Lord is slow to anger, great in power, and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord Yahweh has the Lord Yahweh has in his way 
in the whirlwind and in the storm and in the cloud and all the dust of his feet. That's right. He control everything. All right. Everything is his. Just like this, this, these, these other people, these other nations that don't want to do the right thing, they're gonna get you. Most importantly, he's gonna make, he's gonna make, you know, Edomites the prime example of what never to do, and he's gonna put them down, like he did to the Pharaoh. All right, so right there. So the Wadi Al Bashim for for clearing my mind again. I'm looking at it. And I can't even see. It. I can't even get it out. It was Nahum. It was Nahum. I know it was all right. That verse right there is dope. All right. So uh, let's see. Let's go back to some couple more plagues. What the Lord did to to these bum ass people, you know. But the Lord's going to listen. The Lord's going. He's going. He's going to preserve his people. But he's going to make. He's also going to make an example of his, of, of the two thirds. You know. He's going to make an example. Let's see. Uh, this is um, Leviticus chapter 26, verse 21. And if ye walk contrary unto me and will not hearken unto me, I will bring seven times more plagues upon you according to your sins. You see that? And, and according to your sins, you know, and, and the Lord will he put fucking he'll put AIDS on your ass. You know? All types of plagues. And without what he told us back then, if we do what he wants, he won't do these things to us. So, see, Deuteronomy, he told us, look, Deuteronomy, one of the famous, famous um, chapters ever. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 59. Then the Lord Yahweh, Bashem Shah, will make thy plagues wonderful. And the plagues of thy seeds even great. That means he made more, man. More, sheesh. Man. He, gonna, he ran, man. He, he put the number on us. And he going to do it to these Edomites, too. They, man, they ain't nobody, nobody exempt from, from judgment. But you know what? The Lord is going to save his whole full life. And after this, when we in the kingdom, we never got to worry about being sick again. But right now, that's why we got to pray to stay in this. All right? And, I mean, of thy seed, even great plagues and a long continuance and sore sickness and a long continuance and of long continuance that we it's, it's almost over but we are still in hell and we are still going fuck the water's fucked up we can't we get all touch you know i was watching the, the apostle um around law and you know it do make because i don't like it i don't like that because when you put that bacteria shit in your hands that shit just fucking sits there when you are soap and water and the water runs down into the drain, it's taking the shit that, that you got you taking off and it's going down the drain. But that's a waste of time to put that bacteria bullshit in your hands. Yeah. Yeah, because, um, oh, look at this. We're going to end it with this one. I'm going to end it with these two verses right here. Salakia. Um, this is Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 17. Also, Edom shall be a destination. Everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished and hiss at all the plagues thereof. That's America. Come on. They're gonna be looking at this. Look at that shit. Uh -huh. As in the, as in here's a proof it, as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, 
in the neighbor of cities. Thereof, say the Lord, no man shall abide there, neither shall a son of a man dwell in it. That's that proves that because that's what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah. It got burnt up with nuclear brimstones, but this one, America, this Sodom and Gomorrah is gonna get burnt up with nuclear missiles. All right, um, that was a quick one, but well, one that was edifying, and you know, like I said, so <laughs> great news come out, and you know, you try to accommodate those great news. All oh, praise and honor, glory go to Yahweh Hashem Yahushah, the Wadi Yahweh Hashem Yahushah, forgiveness of apostles and the elders of great millstone. Shalom to the Akim. Shalom.